Dogecoin vs Sundial Growers? How Warren Buffet would likely weigh in? My hunch is that Warren Buffett views the unbelievable efficiency of Dogecoin, Crypto Doge, this 12 months as an outlandish situation. I would guess that he has an identical tack of a steep rise within the worth of Sundial Growers, Nasdaq SNDL, shares, thanks primarily to the excitement that the pot inventory has generated on Reddit. However what if Buffett had to decide on between Dogecoin and Sundial? Positive, it is a situation that would not occur in 1 million years. Nevertheless, I believe I've a fairly good concept of which method the Oracle of Omaha would lean. Buffett has been crystal clear about what he thinks about cryptocurrencies. I can say nearly with certainty that they, cryptocurrencies, will come to a foul ending, he stated throughout a January 2018 interview on CNBC. The next month, throughout a Fox Enterprise interview, he asserted that Bitcoin was most likely rat poison squared. Do not assume that the legendary investor has had a change of coronary heart since then. In 2020, he stated I do not personal any cryptocurrency, I by no means will. He hasn't talked about Dogecoin or every other cryptocurrency in public to date this 12 months. Nevertheless, in February, Buffett's longtime enterprise companion Charlie Munger associated that Bitcoin reminded him of what Oscar Wilde as soon as stated about Fox searching, it is the pursuit of the uneatable by the unspeakable. Buffett probably shares Munger's view. Nevertheless, Buffett hasn't been a fan of marijuana stocks, both. On the Berkshire Hathaway Annual Shareholders Assembly in 2019, Fox Enterprise reporter Liz Clayman requested Buffett and Munger in regards to the risk that Coca-Cola may companion with the hashish firm. Neither favored the thought as a result of hashish would not have, in Munger's phrases, a healthful picture. Even when Buffett was gung-ho about hashish, he most likely would not like sundial growers a lot. The corporate stays unprofitable. It would not have a compelling moat to talk of. And it faces intense competitors in Canada whereas the US market is a no-go for now attributable to federal marijuana legal guidelines. It is apparent that Buffett would not desire to spend money on both Dogecoin or Sundial growers. Nevertheless, in our hypothetical situation, he'd be required to select the lesser of two evils. I believe the load of the proof signifies that he'd select Sundial. Cryptocurrencies principally haven't any worth and so they do not produce something. They do not reproduce, they cannot mail you a verify, they cannot do something, and what you hope is that any individual else comes alongside and pays you extra money for them afterward, however then that particular person's bought the issue. By way of worth, zero. So, his greatest drawback with Dogecoin would nearly actually be that it merely would not do something. Then again, Sundial grows and cultivates hashish. It packages hashish merchandise and ships them to patrons. Buffett won't just like the hashish trade, but it surely is a fairly secure guess that 100% of the time, he'd take an organization that produces items on the market over an asset that does not. For Dogecoin to be more than a meme, it must turn into extra well known as an actual retailer of worth or acquire much more acceptance as an option to buy items and companies. However Sundial Growers additionally has some hurdles to leap if it will transfer past its meme stock standing. The scorching share worth features it has skilled this 12 months should be accompanied by underlying enterprise and chancy element. The corporate has to determine a transparent path to profitability and execute properly. I will not name both of those completely outlandish situations. Nevertheless, even followers of Dogecoin and Sundial would most likely admit that there is a vital likelihood that traders' present fascination with them may fade away over time. What would not be outlandish in any respect can be for Buffett to be confirmed proper. It occurs as a rule.